Opposite Punda is the district of Otrobanda, which means the other side. When the Queen Emma Bridge is open for ships to sail into the Santa Ana Bay, people take the ferry. Crossing the harbour entrance to the other side is a good moment to observe the Handelskade from the harbour. The Riff Fort in Otrobanda was built at the west side of the entrance to the port after the English occupation in the early 19th century. Large cruise ships that cannot pass under the Queen Juliana Bridge are moored at a new mega pier near the fort. The old fortress encloses a modern mall with a variety of restaurants to relax or to just take a refreshing drink at one of the bars. In 1707, permission was granted by the West India Company to parcel out plots in Otrobanda. Near the harbour, exceptional mansions in the Curaçao Baroque style showed the development of Otrobanda in the mid-18th century. Unlike Punda, the expansion of this district was not limited by ramparts. Hence, the mansions were built on spacious lots. Cura Agostini is the old name of these premises. Agostini, born in Corsica, bought the yellow mansion and added a red building in the 19th century, which is now Restaurant de Gouverneur, situated at the harbour. At the south side of Bredestraat Otrobanda, Basilica Santa Ana, founded in 1752, is the oldest Catholic church of Curaçao. After many alterations and restorations, the original building developed into the present church. To have a better view on the altar, former broad stone pillars were replaced by slim iron cast pillars. Recently the stained glass windows have been beautifully restored. Along the walls the way of stations of Jesus Christ is depicted in mosaic. Typical of Otrobanda in earlier days were the balconies at the front of the houses from where the residents watched the passers-by in the streets on Sundays and holidays. In the middle of Bredestraat, Neto Bar is located. It is the coziest bar of Otrobanda visited by a multi-diverse audience. The bar is famous for its rom verde, a green rum made from a secret family recipe. Very popular at the bar are the Dutch king and queen who visited the location during their visits to the island. Characteristic alleys where people live and work are part of the core of Otrobanda. Architectural styles were adapted and transformed into bright Curaçao Caribbean colors. The composition of the residents of Otrobanda has been, and still is, a social and cultural melting pot. Former mansions were built next to the houses of laborers and craftsmen, where in the afternoon, in the shadow of the old buildings, the street becomes lively again after a hot day. In the street is a shop of a goldsmith who has mastered the intricate art of filigree jewelry. Through the years there were and still are very good goldsmiths on the island. Higher up on the Serio Trobanda is a house with a clear influence of the English Windward Islands. The Cas di Canji, which means House of Lace, refers to the ornamental gingerbread woodwork. Colorful tiles on the floor of the terrace fit well with the decorative woodwork of the house, where once a daughter of a tree master captain from St. Bart's lived. In old Otrobanda, it is also possible to obtain a custom-made suit. 
It's manufactured on a Singer sewing machine by a master tailor from French St. Martin who went to France to study this craft for four years. In this part of Otrobanda are still nice examples of the architecture of the second half of the 19th century. The stately monument Belvedere was built in 1865 by Governor de Rouville. Remarkable are the double windows on the ground floor with semicircular fan lights on both sides of the monumental main entrance. Villa Sixta, an elegant house with a curved double stairway leading to the balcony, is presently rented out to the Colombian consulate. Villa Antoine is the original name of this interesting house. It was built about 1888 by Antoine Martis, who was the head of the building department and also the first known architect of Curacao. Besides the many beautifully restored buildings, there are still derelict historic places in the old town of Otrobanda. In 2000, a dilapidated and abandoned historic area in Otrobanda was restored and transformed into Hotel Kurahulanda by businessman and visionary Jakob Geldecker. The restored houses have been customized to accommodate the rooms of the hotel. These buildings with covered galleries once connected the kitchen building to the main house Bellevue, which is now the lobby of the hotel. There is also an anthropological museum focusing on the transatlantic slave trade. The Curacao Monuments Fund and the Monuments Foundation play a prominent role in the restoration of historic buildings in the World Heritage City of Willemstad. Due to the presence of the port and related trade and industry, together with a multicultural community, the four historic districts of Willemstad developed into a unique city for the Caribbean and beyond.